Men live on average four and a half years less than women, and it's six years for black men. That's unacceptable. Many black men in our country are facing their health problems the wrong way, in the shadows, quiet, and alone. We keep our worries to ourselves and try to man up to the stress. That's not healthy, and it certainly isn't smart. I think we men can do better. I know we can do better. For decades, I worked at my desk, on my computer, analyzing data to describe health problems in black communities. Now, I've turned the lens of my research on finding ways to help men come out from behind our masks and help each other. Maybe it sounds like a simple thing, but it's not. I came to Michigan State to focus on solutions, not descriptions. This kind of work cannot be done in the ivory tower of academia. It takes community collaboration. So now, I'm partnering with the Flint community-based organization partners and the University of Michigan Flint. The ultimate goal is to find out why so many of us remain quiet and refuse to address the things in our lives that can lead to an early death if we're not careful. With research and hard work, I know my partners and I will solve this problem.